In this lecture, I am going to tell you how we can use Select2 plugin in our Select input fields. Select2 plugin provides us search functionalities to our Select input fields. It does provide us clear functionalities to our Select input fields. It also provides us placeholder in our Select input fields. I already created a file called Select2.html and I opened that file in our code editor. Now I will open HTML blocks here and then I will include jQuery CDN here because select to plugin requires jQuery plugins. So what I will do I will search jQuery CDN in Google and then I will click on this W3 schools jQuery get started link and then I am gonna copy the CDN form here and I will provide this CDN code inside our head tag and then I will go to this select2.org website and then I will click on this installation link and I will copy the CDNs for our select2 plugins from here and I will provide this inside our head tag under jQuery CDN links ok and then I will open one div inside our body tag and then I will add one select field here so inside our select tag there should be option so let's provide option month January so let's provide the value for this option so this will be January and also let's add another option called February and then let's add another option called March ok and then let's provide the value for this option and you need to add name to our select field so let's provide name month here and then we need to provide the selector for our select input field I am providing ID selector so let's provide ID month here you can also provide class selector for your select field ok now if I open our select2.html file in Google let's click on this file and then open with Google Chrome you see we have this select field and we have January February March here now I'm going to add select to field to our select input field so let's see the documentation and let's click on this basic users link and then I'm gonna copy the code from here so I'm gonna open script tag inside our body tag and then I'm gonna paste the code inside this script tag and we need to provide the selector for our select input field so the ID of our select input field is month so I will provide hash selector here and then we need to call select to method this will be available if you have this select to dot mean js cdn link and select to dot mean dot css cdn link here this is for the styling and this is for the functionalities so now if I refresh our select2.html you see we have this select2 plugins available for this input field now let's add width to our select input field so let's add inline style for our select field let's add style of width 250 pixel and if I refresh the browser you see we have this select2 input field here so you can search for the month with the help of select to and now I'm going to add placeholder for our select input field so let's check the documentation and then let's click on this placeholder link and for placeholder we need to add an option inside our select tag with value blank 
and then what you need to do we need to add object inside this select to method and we need to provide the placeholder here so let's check the documentation once again yeah we need to provide uh, one key here placeholder and then we need to provide the placeholder name here so let's provide select a month and now if I refresh the browser you see we have this placeholder for our select input field and now I'm going to add clear function artist right now you see when I'm choosing one month we don't have any clear function artist so now I'm going to add clear function artist for our select input fields so we can add clear function artist with this allow clear true so let's provide this allow clear true inside this select to method and if I refresh our browser and if I choose one month you see now we have clear function artist so I think you understand how we can use select to plugin for our select input field now I'm going to tell you if you want to add select to for multiple selection yes you can add so if I add multiple option here so let's provide multiple is equal to yeah if I provide multiple here it will work I think so if I refresh the web page again you see now we have multiple selection you see and we can also remove the selection from here okay so it does work also for single selection and multiple selection okay so that's it for select to plugin you can use it for your projects so if you like the video you can subscribe my channel for future videos so thank you for watching this